Update 170 introduced a few changes to some weapon balances and the usual bug fixes and stuff. They also had some changes to Crime Spree. Was it making a more reliable lobby system for connecting to other people? Or lowering the crashing so you don't have to worry about messing up your spree? Or punishing cheaters for a game mode that's riddled with them? Or giving incentive for going for extra loot instead of just fastest completion? No, they added some maps to the rotation. But hey, weapon balance changes. So, rocket launchers of all types got damage buffs, and the Thanatos Sniper did as well. Of course, the big question being, does that make these weapons viable on one down difficulty, and does it just make them better weapons in general? Of course, as the title suggests, there were also some nerfs made, most notably to our poor old swan song, reducing the time you get for it from 9 seconds down to 6 seconds. Also, the ammo pickup for the DMR kit assault rifles, those being the Gallant, the M308, the Cavity, and the Little Friend, they got nerfed, so they have much worse ammo pickup now. So, let's just go ahead and start with the special weapon buffs first. So, weapons like the Thanatos and the RPG, they've always been high damage in exchange for having little to no ammo pickup. Of course, the RPG's having no ammo pickup. This made them ideal for taking out bulkier enemies like bulldozers, but when one down difficulty came around, even those weapons had a hard time killing those enemies that they were intended to be useful against. So, as a result, they became pretty useless. Now, they've had their damage buff, but as we all know, damage is not everything. So, from the update page itself, the Thanatos went from 2,800 damage to 3,500 damage, the RPG from 10,000 damage to 12,500, and the Commando 101 from 5,000 to 6,200 damage. From the perk deck skill Fast and Furious, you'll also get a small damage boost to the Thanatos that'll put it at 3,675 damage. So, let's just go over one weapon at a time. With the RPG, before the buff, you needed two rockets to kill a bulldozer at full health on one down difficulty. And after the buff, it still needs two rockets. With the Commando 101, the weapon needed four rockets to kill a bulldozer at full health. Now, it only needs three. And with the Thanatos, uh, I don't actually recall how many shots it needed to kill a bulldozer before the buff. I think it needed like three or so. After the damage buff, it still needs three headshots. So, really, this did not feel like a buff at all. You know, maybe those damage numbers it changed were made so it, you know, it helps out on lower difficulty. But to be completely honest here, there's really no reason in my eyes to balance for lower difficulties when there's only a few select weapons and weapon types that are viable for one down difficulty. You know, if you play on Death Wish or lower, nearly any weapon can be decent. Not the same can be said for one down. So if Overkill doesn't balance weapons around one down difficulty, might as well be useless then. So unsatisfied with the results, I decided to test the weapons with some damage buffing skills. In my second run through, I tested some weapons using the skills Underdog, High Value Target, Berserker, and Overkill. Underdog for the increased damage when surrounded by enemies, high value target for more damage on spotted specials, and even more damage when they're farther than 10 meters away. Berserker for just that raw damage at low health, and Overkill Ace for a damage boost after a shotgun kill. Now unfortunately some of those skills don't affect the RPGs, that being Berserker and Overkill, but it should still help out with the Thanatos and the rest should still help out with the RPGs. So after using the skills I came to the conclusion that the RPG and the Commando, well, they they saw no benefit from their use. <laughs> they still take the same amount of rockets to kill a bulldozer. However, the Thanatos is another story. I didn't do a lot of testing before the damage buff, but right now, if you run the skill setup I just mentioned, and you have all of them active at the same time, then the Thanatos has the potential to one-shot a bulldozer on one down difficulty. Now that's pretty rad if you ask me, especially since having all these skills active is not a difficult task. All you need to do is kill an enemy with a shotgun, switch weapons, and be further than 10 meters away. Also have low health, but having low health is... it's pretty common on one down difficulty. So it's a lot easier than banking on crit chances to one-shot a bulldozer. Like I said, I don't know if the damage boost actually helped the Thantos reach this potential, but either way, after finding that out, it's uh, it's pretty nice to have in one very specific build situation. So, other than that, 
it seems like the damage buffs were pretty meaningless. You know, the commando does take one less rocket to kill a bulldozer, but other than that, they're about the same. And the main problem with these weapons to begin with is just that they aren't suited well to versatility. You know, they can't pick up ammo at all for the rocket launchers, and the Thanatos has very bad pickup, so you're very reliant on ammo bags. And on one down difficulty, what's scary is not really the bulldozers, you know? They're hard to kill, sure, but they're not the most important thing. It's the endless spawns of weak enemies that still only need a couple shots to down a fully armored player. So, you know, high damage explosive weapons are still fairly ineffective against the hundreds of enemies that you'll see within a wave. And they don't really feel like worthwhile weapons to bring along. I'd rather have something that gives me a little more sustainability and a little less reliance on having ammo bags. Of course, this brings me to the next topic. What was nerfed? So, the ammo pickup for the DMR weapons got nerfed, and now all of them across the board just have really meager ammo pickup. These were weapons that actually did have the versatility that I was talking about, you know? They have good damage, so you can still deal with bulldozers and specials in a relatively timely manner, but it still had enough ammo to make it useful for crowd clearing. And now that ammo pickup was nerfed, so it's harder to sustain that same ammo now without an ammo bag. And, of course, how could I forget our favorite skill, Swan Song. So this skill also got nerfed, and while a few people are overreacting to it, I would say it's a pretty warranted nerf. You know, Swan Song is one of the best skills to have in the game across every difficulty, across every build. You know, any time you have it, it's useful. So, the duration got a little bit nerfed, so it doesn't last as long. Instead of 9 seconds, it's 6 seconds total. Personally, I still find it a usable and worthwhile skill to pick up. I mean, it's still pretty decent to do what you want. You just won't be able to do some things, like you won't be able to fix a drill now because it's not enough time. But you'll still be able to go unload a lot of ammo into whatever killed you and stuff like that. Probably pick up your teammate along the way. The more worrying thing about these balance changes was just how Overkill handles the balance. You know, instead of buffing the weaker skills or the weapons that were, you know, not really usable on one down, like assault rifles, they just nerfed the good stuff, like the DMR kit assault rifles and Swan Song. And, you know, for the weapons that even did get a buff, like the RPGs tested today, they didn't even really feel much different as a whole. I I'm not sure what the purpose of was changing that number over there. Eh, but whatever. They also nerfed my judge, so I'm pretty salty about that. <laughs>